Are you selling Etsy digital products but finding it hard to stand out from the crowd? I get it, friend. I know how difficult it can be to find ideas for digital products to sell online that a million people aren't already offering. That's why today I'm sharing eight ideas for unique digital products that you could sell. These are all digital products that can definitely make sales on Etsy, but have a little bit less competition, so they're a bit more likely to be able to break through market saturation and be discovered. So let's get into it. Real quick, I wanna let you know I have a live digital product masterclass coming up on Thursday, April 11th. I'm actually going live twice that day, once at 2 p.m. Eastern time, once at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm teaching through my digital product powerhouse masterclass, my four-step system to starting and growing a wildly successful and profitable digital products business. I love digital products because you can earn passive income working from home. So whether you wanna make some extra money as a side hustle or possibly have this replace your full-time income, this masterclass is gonna point you in the right direction and get you started on the right foot. I'd love for you to get registered to come. It's totally free and I'm gonna be doing a Q&A session live as well so you can bring your most burning digital product questions. And I have that registration page link in the video description below. So just hop over after watching this video and choose your time slot. Go ahead and grab your seat though quick because it's filling up super fast. So make plans now to join me on April 11th and I can't wait to hang out with you there. All right, let's jump into digital product type number one, which is labels. So you could create these labels to sell as an instant download that's a final file or an editable template for your buyer. A lot of these products I'm gonna be talking about in this video could be one or the other. But either way, when we're thinking about offering labels, we could think of it in two different niches. You could create labels to sell for the business niche, which would be B2B or business to business. Here we're thinking about selling to the seller. So these are gonna be labels that would be useful for people that own small businesses that would need different types of labels for their marketing or for business purposes. Some ideas for this could include branding or logo stickers or product labels for things like cosmetic products, baked goods or candles. Or if you didn't want to go the business route, you could offer labels for personal or home use. These come really in handy for people that have personal projects, especially things like organization efforts. So you could create labels that someone could use for their pantry or kitchen, like food storage labels, spices, or even for large storage bins. All right, moving on to digital product type number two, and this is restaurant resource templates. So for this specific product, we're talking about creating a template in a program like Canva. Canva is an awesome graphic design tool that you can use and you can easily create something to become a template to then share that template link with your buyer. So when they open that template link, it'll take them to their own Canva account where they can make further edits and then download the file in the way that they like. So one type of target customer that are always looking for these types of templates are restaurant owners. There are all different types of templates you could create for a restaurant owner, everything from a printable menu to checklists for things like opening day or closing time, printable charts for things like allergens or reservations, or even something like a printable hours of operation page. You could create as many of these restaurant templates as you like and then sell them as a package or a bundle together in one listing. Pro tip here, if you're using Canva to create these templates, Canva does give you the ability to add a QR code to your project, which would be super useful for restaurant owners specifically because they might want a QR code to be able to connect to a digital version of their menu. So if you're creating a restaurant menu template, definitely consider adding a QR code that your buyer could then go in and link to whatever website they're wanting to. All right, digital product type number three is an editable bill of sale. This might not seem like the most fun thing to create, but trust me, it is high in demand and a lot of people purchase these types of templates to use instead of starting from scratch. So this could be a specific bill of sale for a vehicle, a car, a boat, or just for general items. You could offer one listing that includes several different versions or formats for the buyer to choose from that they could edit in different programs, including one version that's a Word doc version, one that's a PDF that they could edit in something like Adobe Acrobat, and maybe a Google Doc version. This makes it easy for them to choose depending on what device or programs they use, what they'd like to edit the bill of sale in and print it out from there. You can easily create this in PDF form on Canva as well, creating your bill of sale in Canva, most likely on a US letter size, which is eight and a half by 11 inches, and then saving that file as a PDF. Now our next digital product idea is a really fun one and this is creating and selling date night printables. These usually come in the form of a final file instant download. So we're not talking about selling a template here. We're talking about final files that the customer would instantly download and be able to print out, cut apart and use as is. Most of the time these are gonna come in a PDF format but you could also download it and provide a JPEG or a PNG version just depending on what you think your target customer might need. Some specific types of products in this category might include a bundle of date night, 
idea cards, or a printable couples connection workbook. Now, if this idea intrigues you, but you're wondering how you would come up with all of those different ideas, you can always get inspiration from looking at what's already out there on platforms like Pinterest, listings on Etsy, or even just Googling that term, printable date night cards, and getting some ideas there. Or you can use a tool like ChatGPT and ask it, give me 30 date night ideas, and the AI tool will generate those ideas for you, and you can pick and choose which ones you think would be applicable for what you want to offer. Okay, next up, we're talking about resume templates. Again, maybe not the most fun thing to create and sell, but definitely something that's useful and high in demand in the online space. First, you'll wanna think through two things to decide what type of resume you wanna offer. Think through who it might be for, if it's just a general professional resume, or if it's for a specific occupation, like a fashion designer or an architect. You also wanna think about the aesthetic or the feel or the vibe of the template and how you're gonna create that with different graphic elements, fonts, and colors. For instance, do you want it to have a clean, modern look, a fun boho feel? It's totally up to you, but you do wanna think about your target customer and what they would most likely go for. Again, this could be one listing that you're offering several different types and formats of the same resume so people can choose what program they edit it in, including formats like a .doc, which would be for Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Mac Pages, or even a Canvas. A template. Most resumes you'll want to create in that US letter or A4 size. And an extra pro tip here specific to resumes is that your listing will be much more appealing to people shopping if you can advertise it as ATS friendly. ATS stands for Applicant Tracking System and a lot of big corporations and businesses use these applicant tracking systems to scan through all of the different resumes that come in for keywords to easily and quickly sort out people who wouldn't be a good fit for the position. As more businesses are starting to use an ATS system, resumes more and more need to be ATS friendly just in case your buyer is needing to submit this to a business through an ATS. You can do some research on your own as to what different types of things make a resume ATS friendly, but these include things like making sure it's in the right format. So for instance, a PDF could work, but a dot .doc Word document is actually even better than a PDF. You're gonna wanna make sure there's no important details in the header or the footer, and you'll wanna make sure to use relevant keywords throughout the resume that helps that ATS to identify certain keywords that help it to know that this applicant is a good fit for the position. All right, next up on the list of digital product ideas, we've got stock photos. Stock photos are images or photography that people can purchase and use for a wide range of different purposes so that they're not having to actually take their own professional looking photos for different things. They can actually just purchase a bundle of images or photos to use for things like email marketing on their website, blog posts, social media posts, or even creating their own digital products to sell like slide presentation templates templates or workbook templates. So this is something that's in high demand that you could easily offer to sell if you have a knack for photography or you're willing to learn. What you would do is you would want to create a bundle of different images that revolve around one specific theme or aesthetic or topic. So an example could be light and airy farmhouse pictures or a set of baking and sweet treat photos. Once you've decided on your topic or your aesthetic you're going for, you'll go ahead and take those photos and then edit them afterward with something like the free Lightroom mobile app. You'll want to make sure you do some research on this to know exactly what you're doing with your editing techniques, but it's not hard to learn and it's something that you can use to really up-level the appearance of your images. Then when you've got all the final images ready to go, you can either list this on your shop and deliver in a zip file, or you can upload these to a platform like Google Drive or Dropbox and then deliver that link for your buyer to access them that way. Remember, there are gonna be a lot of people wanting to purchase and use these images in a professional commercial way as well, so you need to make sure that you include in your listing whatever your commercial license terms are. Since you're the creator and the seller of the photos, you own them and you get to decide how you're licensing these out to people. So you can break down the terms of what they are and aren't allowed to use the photos for. All right, next on our list of Etsy digital product ideas are homeschool resources. These can be either in template form or instant download final file form. Again, a template would be for the types of resources that someone would purchase and wanna go in and edit something themselves or an instant download would be a file that you've made that they could just go ahead and instant instantly download and use as is. Now, a lot of times these types of homeschool resources are sold in bundles or sets, and there's two main different types of bundles that I see that are really high in demand. Number one would be a planning and tracking bundle, and number two would be a worksheet bundle. So let's talk about the planning and tracking bundle first. This bundle has resources that are more geared towards the parent or the person homeschooling for their own productivity and organization to help them plan out their homeschool. These can include resources like a printable homeschool planner. You could break this up into 
daily and weekly planning pages or even a year long calendar, a reading tracker, a grade log, unit study preparation sheet, weekly lesson plan, and to-do list. This bundle could be as big as you want. You could continue adding different types of resources and make it whatever you want it to be. Then the worksheet bundle is more for the student to actually complete as their lesson pages. So first of all, for this, you'd want to decide on what age this is geared towards. So for instance, if we're creating a worksheet bundle for pre-K or kindergarten age, we might include some worksheets that can be printed out and completed for things like alphabet tracing, shapes, sight words, and math. Extra tip here, you'll wanna make sure that you're creating these in the right size from the very beginning so that they'll be compatible with printers. Most of the time, this is gonna be a US letter size, which is at eight and a half by 11 inches. All right, moving on to our next digital product idea, and that is topic specific planners. There are all different types of planners out there, but here we're talking about spreadsheets specifically that are centered around a specific topic or theme. So this could be something like a meal planner, a fitness planner, a wedding planner, a travel planner. Again, the options are really limitless here. Like I mentioned, mostly these are offered in spreadsheet form. So the most common spreadsheet formats would be for Google Sheets or Excel. So let's say I'm wanting to create and offer a meal planner spreadsheet. I might have different tabs on that spreadsheet where people can use them for a recipe organizer, meal entries, a weekly meal plan, a grocery list, a hydration tracker. If you ever feel stuck on what you can include in this, you can get inspiration from other listings that you see that are selling really well or use a tool like ChatGPT to get some ideas and inspiration. And once you know the top topic that you're theming this around, you'll also want to decide on the style or aesthetic. So you could be going for something that looks clean and minimal, or you could go with a boho color scheme or pastels, or maybe you want to offer it in all three as different listings and create it according to what you see is already selling really well on the market. So those are our different unique Etsy digital product ideas. Don't forget to register to join me for my live masterclass that I'm teaching through on Thursday, April 11th. You can choose 2 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern time. The link to get registered is in the description box below, and it's totally free. I'd love to see you there, hang out for a little bit, teach you my proven system for starting and growing a profitable digital products business and answer all of your digital products questions. And if by chance you're watching this after that date has already passed, I will be going live again in the future with some digital product training. But until then, you can grab my free digital product starter guide that's linked also in the description box below. It's my whole guide and how to of digital product foundations and basics that you'll need to know to start selling digital products online, everything from file types to resolution to aspect ratios and sizing, to what programs you can use and what types of different digital products there are. So definitely click that link below and grab that as well. Happy selling, friends.